All right, guys, I get a lot of comments asking me how I get my clips to look so smooth, and there's a few techniques that I use to get this effect, so we're just gonna be going over all those today. Now, I should warn you, for some of these techniques that I use for the boar, I do have a pretty good computer, and if you don't have a pretty good computer, it might not work as well, but if you try all these things, it will probably make your gameplay look just a little bit smoother in your clips. Another warning, if you have like a weird sensitivity where your sense is super high, and like you've really bad mouse moving, you shake all the time, it might not look that good, okay? Just a warning. Anyways, uh, now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I personally use OBS Replay Buffer to capture my clips, and I'm using OBS version 29.1.3. Anyways, once you have that version downloaded, you're gonna work your way over to the settings. It's gonna open a window, you're gonna click on the Output tab on the left-hand side of the screen. Once you're in the Output tab, you're gonna wanna change the Output mode from Simple to Advanced. Then you're gonna wanna click on the Recording tab at the top. Next, I just recommend that you copy what I have here. If you have an AMD GPU, obviously use that encoder instead. Then you need to open the replay buffer tab at the top, make sure that it is enabled, and then set your preferred time for your clips. Now estimated memory usage is pretty good at guessing the average file size across all of the files that you will make, but some files will be bigger and some will be smaller. And don't worry guys, once we do the blur effect, it will not be half a gigabyte per clip, I promise. So after you sort that out, you're going to click on the video tab. Then you're going to set this to fractional FPS value, and I have it set so that I have 180 frames per second. And you can set this higher or lower, depending on if you have a better or worse computer than me. And obviously the higher the number, the more smooth the blur is going to look. Now after you have all of that figured out, you're going to go over to the hotkeys section, and then you're going to, you know, so add a key bind to clip, so that when you hit a clip you hit the bind you hit a boom you know you know when you hit a, you hit a clip and then you know you know that feeling you know it, it's also you get the same feeling when you like do really well in a speed run and then you hit the split key all the same all the uh, sorry now all there is to do is load up cs2 and see how it looks so i just recommend loading up cs2 going offline and jumping around shooting bots and clipping it you know and i'm just gonna say if the quality looks bad you should just lower some of the settings so it could be that you set your frame rate too high or it could be that you've set your bit rate too high in the recording settings either way i recommend lowering these two settings until you get the result that you want which is of course just a crisp clear image with minimal artifacting and you're not losing any frames in the recording so now that you have obs figured out i'm going to teach you how to download and install techno blur and download my modification for it that my friend coded you're going to open the blur link in the description and then you're going to scroll down to installation then you're going to click on the installer i imagine most of you would know how to install it you just have to run the exe and then click through the only thing that you need to make sure of is that you install it to a folder a specific folder the entirety of blur needs to be in one folder this part is optional but you can download the tool that my friend made and it's going to make it so that you can blur an entire folder of clips without having to drag and drop a selection of clips and then dragging and dropping a new selection of clips you can just blur the entire folder at once no matter how many files are in the folder i had thousands of files this guy saved my life but anyways once you render one of your obs clips it's going to make a blur.config file you can change this to your liking or you can copy my own from the discord server that you would be getting my friend's application from anyways now alternatively you could just simply copy my blur amount and my brightness and saturation setting because the rest is default uh, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, guys, that's about the end of the video. 52-week streak video is coming in about three weeks here. Uh, I'll just make a video telling you guys what happens when you get 52 weeks. And then I'm going to make a video showing you all my clips from the 52 weeks. And it might be, might be a few hours long. Maybe a few hours. Maybe five, six, or seven hours. We'll see. Um, goodbye. For the way that you dress yeah. I get bored cause there's no one to impress Dress had a tone black My outfit is depressed yeah. You got left but it just fell